All right, thought I'd cover this real quick since there's been a lot of discussion about this. I think I've talked about it before, but once again, since everybody is talking about it, let's go digital. Uh, what I have here is a uh, second generation iPad, iPad 2, I believe. It may be a 1. I won it at a competition, so I paid nothing for it. So that was the whole reason why I have it. Would I pay a couple hundred dollars for one? Probably not. But um, if you've got the money or if you already have the iPad, I know a lot of phone deals that now are starting to work out that you can get them. Um, it may be something that you might want to pick up. So as you hear the meowing, and you can see right here, uh, we are a cat family, and those are my jammies. But anyway, we're talking about uh, digital. So uh, for my main selection, I generally have the Marvel app, DC, Image, uh, Hoopla and Comixology and don't really need the image. I believe that's under Comixology and DC. I think Marvel is the only one that does it. Hoopla is through my uh, library system and it's free. Uh, Comixology, uh, I think when all the rest of these got incorporated like um, Dark Horse and uh, some of the others, then uh, they all just went to Comixology. But as you can see, there's Strange Adventures, uh, the new issue. You can see this, this is about the same size. So this is something that I normally uh, can hold and read very easily. For me, this is the perfect size if you're going to go digital. And I would say, by going digital, digital has a place in my life. But as you can see, I still buy physical. Uh, digital, for me, I guess I would say the sales, uh, comics you can't find anywhere because they're totally out of print. Um, or because uh, your LCS is closed now or closed permanently or whatever is the other options. <clears throat> uh, like I said, I originally got this because of the deals. I won it at a competition. It was free. And most of the books I bought here, 99%, 97%, I got at uh, nearly cheap deals. So that's why I bought it. Or like I said, with Hoopla, free. So when I look at Marvel... Uh, here is my Marvel page. I have 727 comics, and as I thought about that, oh boy, even if I paid only 99 cents for each one, I gotta imagine I got some other deals or something in there, but maybe. I mean, we buy comics, so we don't understand how they uh, stack up, but uh, alphabetized, numbered letters, you know, I can switch through. I can filter them, I can change, you know, books or series. Um, but, you know, right now, uh, as you can see up here, it's on the cloud. If I go just to device, these are the only ones I have on my iPad right now. It does take up quite a bit of memory. It's an old iPad, so uh, these are books i recently been reading. Uh, I did a cruise a couple years back, a couple years ago. Uh, probably about five years, so I was able to bring like the entire, and you'll see with DC, Green Lantern, not Green Lantern, Green Arrow series. Um, uh, the Avengers Initiative, I think, was my other one, maybe even Spider-Woman. So, um, and you can see it's a lot of old ones, but so if I choose Avengers Initiative right now, boom, boom, boom. There's the few issues that I have in there because the rest are in trade or single issues. I just got this because of either a deal once again or because of uh, I couldn't find them. <laughs> so, and then uh, I think, which one am I currently reading right now? Do, 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 do. I think I'm on this one. Yep. So, there's the walkthrough version of it. Generally, there's your page about what you would see, you know, do, 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 you know, and it's wonderful digital work. You can see the beauty of the art printed right there. Um, sometimes if you want to, you can go through and double tap and it gives you this version, which as people mention, they sometimes don't like. So I tip it sideways. It adjusts. I won't tip you sideways. Um, 
but then I can read this whole thing if I want to. I can expand if I want to. Oops, oops. Look in the crowd for things. You know, just like we do with our phones. Um, with this one, I could go frame by frame. Uh, and I know some people said if it's a bigger one, sometimes they don't like the idea that, you know, maybe something gets cropped funny. I, I will admit things like that happen. Or if it's a double plate, double page splash, sometimes it doesn't come out as well. Um, flip that back. Sure. So, and get my way out of there. Uh, with my DC Comics. Once again, another 355. And like I said here, I think I took the entire green land or green arrow uh, with me. That was uh, 21 books. Uh, so then I had them there. I didn't have to worry about downloading anything. I had them all there. I didn't have to carry 21 floppy issues or a couple trades, whatever. But of course, you know, nobody signs these. Nobody... Uh, um, yeah. uh, you know, gets much out of them except for the digital read. So if you're a consumer, if you're just going to read them and not care about your conditions or whatever, uh, sometimes digital is great. Um, let's see, we'll go to the feature page and here we go. I mean, you can buy, uh, issues off of here. So this would have been last Wednesday. If DC decides they're going to go with it, I mean, they could put all the, this week's comics in that lower section and with that you know you pay full price on these so there you go uh four dollars for a digital comic personally i don't think that's a good deal but maybe like i said if you're someplace where it doesn't uh where you can't get access to comics otherwise uh maybe you get to a more obscure one where maybe they never get any dark horse comics uh Dynamite, something like that. You know, there are the comicsology you can get there. Uh, maybe there's certain series that you're looking for. So you can always go back and get Rebirth. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Okay. So, you know, Green Arrow. I can kind of go back through those kind of things. Uh, volume... Two, there you go, thirteen dollars. Maybe you know you can think of it what you want, or the deluxe rebirth for twenty-five dollars. So um, sometimes you know you find them at deals, sometimes you don't. Uh, sometimes there's uh, free ones on there too. Uh, imprints. There you go. You want Jinx World or Vertigo or DC Ink? Um, I will admit, I think with my Marvel that I had more and I think they gave you like I think you can get almost every number one free on one day and I did that and I lost them because they were free so I you know I'm guessing they decided to, took it, to take them back so yeah I don't own any of these I basically have paid for the right to read them on my tablet unless I want to download every single one pack my tablet full um, so they could all disappear which you know way they did um at one point there was dynamite dark horse all that they had to and then they all went to comiXology and you can see that i have them here so 461 here um you know like the ant uh animal man so my dc come on scale up um uh my image was on here but when they went over, I didn't have my account set up and everything. So for a while there, all my comics were gone until I finally got another good download that linked them together. And so all the comics I thought that I was going to be missing, I'm not missing. They're, they were there. They linked up just perfectly. So I was able to have all the old books I was reading. Um, ones that I had been trying, you know, at different times, you know. Or maybe I just got two books, but that's actually, that's in a way, I guess, a lie because they're, they're two trades, um, issue one or volume one, issue one. So I guess I got one issue and I liked it. So I went with the volume, um, 
you know, things can get divided up like GI Joes, uh, which, you know, maybe how some people do it in their, their boxes, you know, uh, and there you can see, you know, I got my green arrow books again. So, um, you know, sometimes they're just random ones and they're not all downloaded in here. Like I said, that's on the cloud. So let's go to device. Right now I don't have any of my DC uh, downloaded into, you know, because it, like I said, it takes up room. So, uh, Poopla, I'll show that real quick one too. Uh, there you go. There's wonderful. Boom. Boom. Uh, Donnie Cates and Venom. So, you know, uh, it was a trade. Let me see. Do, 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 do. And done. There you go. Um, I get, I think, six downloads. Yeah, I think it's six downloads a month. So starting tomorrow, I'll get a whole bunch of them. Uh, you can see previous ones that I've recently read and returned. Um, you know, you can go to, write down here, books. Go up here to comics. You know, and there you go. So all the different ones that you can get uh, featured. So, you know, just a wonderful selection of books that you would probably see at many libraries. Uh, you can choose by popular, so you're going to see the, the new ones, Minecraft and all that. Uh, Big Nate, payback time. Uh, so if I'm interested in something and I don't want to spend a single dollar, I can try it out. You know, I can, you know, grab one Ghostbuster, you know, and look it over. Um, this is interesting too, so you can, this one is issues, so that's a single issue. As you saw with my Donny Cates, it was a uh, trade. One trade is the same as one issue. So um, sometimes that works out good where you know, I can get the War of the Realms one through six and it's only one, the same as one issue. Uh, so I could get six, you know, trades. Um, but also sometimes a brand new, mm, let me see. Sometimes you get a brand new, you know, trees or something. Maybe it's something brand new that's coming out. I guess trees isn't the best example. Um, let's see if I can find a single issue. All right, well, yeah, like the Ghostbuster. Must be coming out right now. So there's one issue, and you can follow along. One comes out every month. You can get then six different titles uh, that month, and then the next six along the next line. So... Uh, it works out interesting that way. I, I think it's Dynamite, Dark Horse maybe, that will put them out then. I think they come out the exact, I think they come out one week after their initial release. So, all right, uh, Dead Eyes, mm, let me see. Uh, Ghostbusters once again. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, here you go. Um, Archie and Katie Keene. I don't know when it came out. You can check, but there's issue 711. Uh, um, or Doctor Who. There you go. Maybe you're a Doctor Who fan. Issue 2. Uh, so, but that counts as one of the six for the month. So, uh, you know, it, it works out well if you library supports Hoopla. I mean, that's great. It does count and give credit to the uh, wonderful library people all the, all the people write the book and and color and draw and color and all that so um i i would say i'm not going to ever replace digital or um physical but for a while there as i was starting to collect books and i thought i might move again um i was getting worried i didn't want to start lifting a whole bunch of boxes and that so i thought digital is the way to go there you go there's a almost a, a thousand comics right there uh, more, I guess, if you consider, you know, comiXology and Hoopla. Um, a thousand comics, as you know, can really start to create some weight. So uh, maybe that's the reason why some people go digital. I, I definitely think digital is different for everybody. I think it's whatever works best for, for you. I think there's a place for both. So I would say if you can, you know, try out, see if there's a place for digital in your life. Uh, it definitely does not have to replace physical. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to have my physical books. I just bought, I think if you saw my Twitter, 24, 
books, maybe. Maybe it wasn't that many. Um, back issues and that, that uh, for my store, because I want to continue supporting them. Uh, but, you know, like with Comixology, here, I'll get to the Discover page. Boom. Um, yeah, as you can see, the spinning wheel. Oh, there we go. Um, you know, maybe there's different ones on sale, so... Maybe, you know, maybe Saga becomes a TV show and boom, they'll, every Saga for 99 cents each, you know, or trades for $5 or whatever it might be. Um, well, I guess here, Lock and Key. So I already own it, but if I was interested, uh, I guess there's an unlimited, like you see with other ones. Otherwise, uh, do, 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 do. I find where it's gonna what it's gonna cost me. Probably because I own it. No. Um, let's look at a book I don't own. Uh, all right, New Frontier. Don't own it. Maybe not because it's on this unlimited. So I obviously don't do a lot of comicsology. I don't. I haven't bought digital in quite a while. Um. Infinity Countdown, issue one. Maybe they just want you really to do this Comics Unlimited. Um, yeah, I can't really find the price. Okay. So, maybe not the best on that one. Um, I know a lot of them will go on sale. Uh, yeah, da -da, Umbrella Academy. All these Unlimiteds. I don't want the Unlimited. Let's look at this weird, interesting one. Um, okay, I don't want to buy, yeah, I guess, any of these. So, uh, that's kind of what I've been dealing with, with my digital, my physical books. So, I just kind of wanted to get back online since everybody's talking, let you know kind of how I run through it. Um, I'll let you know that I think there's a balance. I think there's a balance for both, so... Uh, I hope everybody continues reading. I hope everybody continues enjoying their books. And uh, Sergeant America, signing out. Boo!